what you'll be needing here is a blanket or a scarf, a flashlight, a smartphone with a high enough quality camera that you can take a clear photo, and last but not least, a friend to help you out. Step one is going to be to set up for the photo. So ideally you're going to set up the chairs perpendicular because it makes it easier when both parties are seated to not have their knees crossed. As soon as the person getting their photo taken sits down, the photo taker will sit down and instruct them to turn their head to the side facing them perfectly. This is the ideal position that you're going to want to take a photo in. Now that we've set up the perfect picture, step two is all about blocking out any excess light that's going to create reflections on your final iris photo. So first, take your camera and your flashlight and hand it over to the person who's getting their photo taken. Then you'll take your blanket or your scarf and you'll cover the two of you, getting ready to block out any light. Then you're going to get back to the perfect photo position in step one. If you don't want to be underneath a blanket or a scarf, this can also be accomplished well by going to a room that doesn't have any windows. So now we're ready to take the image, and this is where the patience needs to come in. You're going to see me take the flashlight and come from behind their head, around to the side, and ultimately I'm aiming to have that flashlight at a 45 degree angle illuminating in through the side of their iris. Never point the flashlight directly into their eyes for obvious reasons. So at this point in time, after you find the right angle with the lighting, you're going to have to move the camera a little bit back and forth until you find a clear photo. What you're seeking is a clear representation of the fibers in the eyes. You don't want any blurs and you also don't want any big glares on the iris affecting our ability to see some of the details. It can be helpful if you take the hand that you're using with the smartphone and you stabilize it somewhere on their face that way you can take a nice still photo. Just keep trying and eventually you'll be able to get a really great clear photo.